Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is kind of an announcement type video again, which I don't like to make too many of often. In like, uh, I've had two in the same week now, which I'm not a huge fan of because I think uh, it's not the content a lot of you guys want to see. But I have a few things I have to say because the first video I made about the One Hive Genesis 2.0 merge didn't cover the full picture, and I just have some more information I have to get out there on recruitment, and also kind of about um, the channel, and a few things I wanna let you guys know, one of which being 20,000 subscribers, I have a few things to say about that, um, which I'll talk about towards the end of the video, but first I wanna get out some more important information on the transition of the One Hive Genesis, One Hive Alpha, uh, clan family combining with the uh, 2.0 Invicta Swarm, um, I'm forgetting one, Venom I think, combining with that clan family, it's pretty complicated and most of you guys probably don't care about all the fancy clan names, but for recruitment it does change the game a little bit and I want to make sure you guys know what's going on because um, a lot of you are interested. Uh, first I'm going to talk about how the clans are uh, participating in the CWL Season 2. As you guys know, there's going to be, or as you might not know, uh, there's going to be three different CWL leagues for the Season 2. And 2.0, One Hive 2.0, is going to be in CWL Invite, which I think has the heaviest weights and tends to have probably what would be considered the top clans. Um, there's good clans in all of them, but they have... I think some of the, uh, what are considered some of the best clans in the game. The other two are, I guess, lesser weights. They're still very good clans, but they tend to be just clans that have lesser weights. And One Hive Genesis is going to be in CWL Premier, which I think is kind of the middle tier. Um, I don't want to break it up into tiers because it's not really skill-based. I think there's more factors than just um, this league's the top one, this one's second. I don't think it really works like that. But C uh, Genesis is in CWL Premier, and One Hive Invicta is in the next one, uh, CWL Rising. So three of our clans are participating in C CWL Season 2 uh, throughout all three leagues. So that's exciting stuff. And that has some implications for recruitment because we are looking for a lot of members to uh, to be alternates or to even just be regulars to participate in the CWL and uh, help us win those wars. It's I mean, it's difficult even with the vast amount of numbers we have between all the clans in our family. It's uh, it's not easy to field three rosters per week for these matchups because uh, stuff does happen, as I can testify to and as I will testify to later in this video. Um so I'm going to talk a little bit about recruitment now as we move on to this next attack. Basically, the requirements are going to all be on the website. And the website, I don't want to missay it because um, I might get it wrong if I try to say it off the top of my head. I'll put it in the description below. And that's the website you're going to use to see what the requirements are, to familiar, familiarize yourself with the clan family, um, with the specifics of requirements and stuff, because that's very important to check out before you apply. We don't want people to waste their time if they're not eligible or to get a wrong idea of what exactly they're getting themselves into. Not saying that in a bad way, but uh, it's just important you know kind of what the clan's about and uh, what you will we'll be doing once you're uh, potentially in the clan. So... Check out the website. You can apply on the website or you can apply via a Discord server. And people get confused when you say apply via Discord. Basically, you just join the server and connect with our uh, our recruitment team, our leaders in, the, in that area. And they will kind of help you through the system in terms of giving the information we need, maybe joining for a tryout, stuff like that. So you can do it either of those two ways. I will put the Discord server and the website both in the description. Either way, be sure to check out the website for our uh, requirements if you are interested. Like I said, we are looking for a lot of new members. I know people in the comments often express interest. So that's as clearly as I can say it. That's how you can uh, apply to be in OneHive. And I look forward to seeing all the recruits who, uh, who join. The recruitment uh, tryout system will be through OneHive Swarm, both those going to Genesis and those going to uh, 2.0 or other clans in the family. Everything will go through OneHive Swarm. I believe you have a bit of a choice as to, as far as what clan you want to join. Um, they're all great clans, but people have preferences, of course. So that will be taken into consideration for sure. And I encourage you guys to apply. 
So I think that pretty much covers most of the new information I wanted to give you guys. Um, like I said, I'm really excited about this new change. I think it's going to uh, just breathe a lot of new life into the clans, even though it wasn't that, you know, it wasn't like we were falling apart or anything. I think that it's always nice to have the change of scene, new people, um, just meeting new people and having different perspectives, kind of a nice rush, a nice change to the clan. And uh, it's something that we haven't had in Genesis for a while, I guess, since we split up with the uh, the main One High family. There hasn't been a big change like this. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the channel. First, I guess the elephant in the room, 20,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I had 10,000 just about five months ago. And about three or four months before that, I had like three or four thousand. So it's really been exponential. It's been awesome to see. I really appreciate the support. Um, I, know, I know a lot of you guys have been following me since the beginning. I recognize a lot of people in the comments each, <clears throat> each video. So thank you guys for that. Now, <laughs> with that being said, I decided I'm going to hold off to 25,000 subscribers. Not going to lie, this came up kind of fast on me. That's not the only reason. I think 25K is also just a better landmark to choose. I guess it's a quarter of a way towards 100,000. It just seems like it's the, um, it's the better option. But a lot of it is I just haven't been prepared to do anything special. And I want to do something big. I think the extra, you know, 4,500 to go will, sorry about that, will make it so it'll take place in... Um, It'll take place when I have a little more time to do something. This week, specifically, I'm in, I don't want to get too much into details, but I'm in a mock trial club, and we're competing this week. Very busy. Um, I'm going to have to record a few videos ahead of time tomorrow just to upload throughout the week. I'm going to be very, very busy. So because of that, I think it's just best we push this thing off to 25K. More suspense, um, bigger, a better chance to do something special for you guys. Should happen within the next month or two at this rate. Um, so not a huge wait for you guys, but thank you for your patience and thank you guys for that 25,000 subscribers. Really means a lot to me, or the 20,000 subscribers, not quite there yet, uh, but the 20K does mean a lot to me and it's, it's not something, and people say this all the time, it's cliche, but it's not something I thought I would ever reach. I mean, I thought I would reach it once I got to like 15, but when, you know, way back when, when I was a small channel, I'm still relatively small, but when I was even smaller of a channel, I thought this would never happen. So thank you guys. And I'm just looking forward to the future. I'm not getting burned out at all, really. Um, I am, you know, playing a little bit less, but that's not a result of my disinterest. I actually, the competitive wars are still very fun for me. It's just, I've been so busy lately. Um, and it's kind of, the pinnacle of everything's coming up, and as we get into the spring, um, along with allergies, I should have a lot more time. So, it it would allow it will allow me to play the game more and to post more content. So I'll do my best this week though to keep some videos, get some pre-recorded at least to have uploaded throughout the week incrementally. So uh, thank you guys. Hope you are ex as excited about the change as I am to uh, to possibly apply and to see all the new content that might come from 2.0 as well if I go over there and visit every once in a while uh, that part of the clan family. So yeah, good stuff to come. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Sorry I don't have a very substan uh, substantive, yeah. I don't have a, you know, a strategy video today, but I'll try to get one out tomorrow. And I know you guys want to see some attacks on that war base. Shout out to Amandra for letting me use her base. I'll give her a shout out in the next video. I forgot to do that, but I'll, I'll do it in the replays video. And I, I think you guys will be excited to see some replays. I want to see how it holds up. So we'll see how the diamond back does. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. And I will sign off here. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, Sectatron out.